I've changed things around for you. So you'll see really what usually ends up happening. We've got our employee table. Its distribution key was employee number. Now we've got our department table. Its distribution key is department number, DEPNO. But when we join on DEPNO and DEPNO, then the TISA optimizer says, oh, department table is distributed by DEPNO. Employee table is not. Let's redistribute the employee table by DEPNO and the matching stuff goes to the same SPU. That's why you'll see redistribute in the explain plans of Natiza. You're going to get to see this now in slow motion. We know that the department table had a distribution key of DEPNO and that's how the data laid out when they hashed DEPNO. Now we're about to redistribute the employee table, not by employee number, but for the life of this query, DEPNO. And what do you think is going to happen when I go hash? Let's see. Hash. It's a thing of beauty. It's a math formula. Calculate, go. As you can see, all of the employees in department 100 went to the right SPOO. In 200, the right SPOO. And that's how they're going to get the matching rows on the same SPOO. You can see we've got the data on the correct SPOO for joining, and then our report happens right afterwards. And here's another example for you. Take a look at this. Here we're going to join the customer table to the order table on customer number equals customer number. And as you can see right here, we have already laid out the customer table because its distribution key is customer number. But the order table, mm, its distribution key is order number. What's going to happen when the TISA decides to redistribute the order table? Hash. Yeah, you nailed it. Great job. Don't underestimate how important this is. As you can see, when Natiza redistributed the order table, not by order number, but by customer number, everything magically lined up in the same memory. You really need to get this down because that's the biggest misconception in all of computing, that you can join two things from anywhere on the planet. That's just not the case. It's got to be in the same memory. Once the data is on the same SPU that has to be joined together, you're going to see your report. Now let me ask you a crazy question. How does Natisa join 10 tables together? Two at a time. Because it always has to see how will these two tables join by these keys? Are they on the same SPU? Oh, I'll have to redistribute one or both or duplicate the smaller. We've got that join in place. Fantastic. Now the next one, how do those join together? So it's always two at a time. What a great visual for you to see. We have our SPUs here. Now, at the top, we've got the customer table. Its distribution key is cust no. At the bottom, we have the order table. Its distribution key is order number. What do you think is going to happen when we join these two tables together where cust no equals cust no? Take a look. Figure it out. The Natiza optimizer is going to tell all those spoos, spoos, I want you to go out and I want you to get your customer extents, your data slice of customers, and you bring that into your memory. Spoos, I want you to go out and I want you to get your order table, and I want you to get that slice that you own, and I want you to bring that into memory. Then I want you to redistribute that order table by Custno, and boom, everything's lined up in memory, and the join takes place instantaneously. This lesson brought to you by Coughing Data Warehousing. 
Need to learn SQL for Natiza, Teradata, or Aster? Visit CoughingDW.com for our helpful training guides. With Teratom, SQL stands for So Quickly Learned. Hi, this is Tom Coughing. Thank you so much for watching the video. Please hit subscribe to make sure you are kept up to date on all our videos.